Oklahoma is unfortunately a top 10 state when it comes to the theft of catalytic converters. A recent study shows the devices, which are mandatory in all vehicles, are being stolen at a rate seven times higher than a year ago. Now, Oklahoma lawmakers have taken action to try and mitigate the problem. Steve Shaw joins us with more on that. Steve. Rich, as a matter of fact, the state legislature passed a law this past session that makes a penalty for getting caught stealing a catalytic converter much more severe. This is surveillance video of a catalytic converter theft outside Air Assurance Heating, Air Conditioning and Plumbing in Broken Arrow several months ago. All it takes is a small saw to do it, and for Air Assurance owner David Rampey, it still stings. Last year in particular was when we really got hit hard. Rampy says he's been hit more than a dozen times in the past three years. We did a lot of things to really beef up the security. Uh, we had to spend a, a fortune to do so, but uh, uh, we, bit, we bought huge lights with alarm systems and triggers and around perimeters, and, and we put up trail cameras behind our, our lot. <laughs> That's what a vehicle sounds like after its catalytic converter's been sawed off. It's hideous. The owner of this Toyota Tundra brought it in to Stephen Austin's 405 muffler and more two weeks ago. Just your old school mom and pop muffler shop. And he's been busy. Probably at least seven or eight a week now. Yeah, it's converter theft is really about 75% of our business now. This is what a catalytic converter looks like. They've been mandatory on all vehicles for several decades. It's all EPA Clean Air Act stuff. It's located next to the motor or exhaust. This is what it looks like underneath that Toyota Tundra. About 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Mm -hmm. you, can, you can have one done pretty fast. We're talking about a really nice truck that actually had four catalytic converters. And the thief who did this took all four. Yes, yes, there should definitely be stiffer repercussions. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're stealing from somebody. That's, this could be up to, especially on this Tundra, this is probably a good $1,600, $1,700 repair to be done to this vehicle now. All because somebody wanted to make, you know, seven or 800 bucks on it for a night instead of going out and getting a real job. Catalytic converter thieves go after the low-hanging fruit, which are vehicles that sit a little higher than regular cars. But cars are not immune either. This 2015 Kia Soul still has its catalytic converter. But if you look closely, it's pretty clear somebody's already tried to steal it once. Uh, trucks, box trucks, um, we do a lot of motorhomes. Obviously, we've got a giant pit so we can accommodate stuff like that. SUVs? Yeah, SUVs, anything that a person can slide under, um, they can make easy work of it. This massive catalytic converter just came in to Austin's shop for an RV that was also pilfered. You know, in a good night, hitting five or six cars, they could probably make $1,000, $1,500. Oklahoma City Police spokesman Gary Knight says they don't keep a running count of catalytic converter thefts. The fact it's happening much more frequently now means it's on their radar. It's just the latest uh, craze in uh, metal theft. For the longest time, we would see copper being stolen, and we still do see copper uh, being taken, but uh, catalytic converters is really what a lot of these guys are, are going to now. And this brazen crime doesn't happen only in the dark of night. Kathy Foote is a sergeant with the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office. At 1.30 in the afternoon, June 13th, Kathy's daughter parked the family's white Toyota Sequoia where that red X is in front of J.C. Penney and next to Dillard's in the middle of the afternoon. As soon as she started the car, she was like, this doesn't sound right. And then also the lights were like the service lights and all that were going nuts on the dash. I think the thing that surprised me most is at a mall, you have people walking in and out. So you have like the business going on, but it honestly, it didn't take them any time at all. It's a, it's, a big deal if it's your vehicle that, that's been tampered with. 
Ross Ford spent 27 years as a Tulsa police officer. As a Broken Arrow state representative, last session he proposed legislation that is now state law. It's a felony to steal a catalytic converter. We made it a, a $5,000 fine and or five years in jail. Criminal justice reform has swung too far. We were now allowing criminals to just continually break the law to break the law, and there's no way that it's always a misdemeanor. Ford says scrap metal dealers, places where stolen catalytic converters have been known to end up, aren't the bad guys. I mean, you know, they, you know, they, uh, they're being made out to be criminals, and and sometimes, you know, uh, and, and that may not be the case, you know, because uh, they have rules and regulations on the books by the state of Oklahoma that that says what they what hoops they have to jump through to purchase these items. Also, Ross says scrapyards around the state are regulated by the Department of Agriculture, which Ross says is a head scratcher. If we really want, as a state, if we really want to cut down on this, we need to move that probably to a law enforcement agency and then prop up enough investigators and people to where they can actually go out, do spot checks, and make sure that the, the salvages and scrap dealers are, are playing by all the rules. Ross Ford says he plans to introduce legislation next session that would make scrap metal regulation the job of law enforcement and not the Department of Agriculture. And by the way, I just heard from the largest insurance carrier in the United States, State Farm. According to their records, there was one catalytic converter theft in the Sooner State in 2019. In 2021, there were 306.